Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Midas here. And, um, today is something that just came out. Well, no, it didn't come out yet, but it's coming out next Tuesday. Uh, a new update for Grand Theft Auto Online called the Doomsday Heist. Now, um, of course everyone's going to be freaking out about this. This is basically Heist Part 2. And it's it's crazy. I, have y'all seen the trailer of it? Uh, okay, look. So I woke up this morning, and uh, I just happened to look at my phone, and I see a notification from Rockstar saying that there's a new update coming out called the GTA Online Doomsday Ice. So I'm wondering. I'm already excited because. First of all, it has the word heist in it. So, um, yeah, so I'm thinking it's going to be the second part of heist. And it is. But what I didn't notice was the video and the updates that's coming along with it. Yeah, uh, GTA Online, let me tell you a little story. GTA Online used to be a game where you could just run around and shoot people and try and buy houses and try and live the criminal underground you know like just live it was basically all about surviving y'all remember the first mission where I had to uh, talk to Gerald and stuff well GTA Online has become so much more in the past four years guys I'm talking in this heist we're talking about jetpacks yes finally Rockstar has given us jetpack, but you already know that these jetpacks is gonna cost a fortune, like maybe around uh, I don't know seven million, five million dollars. You already know these jetpacks is gonna cost a lot. But if y'all look in the trailer, these jetpacks that you can see on the screen right here, um, it it's it's just amazing, literally, like my mind is blown. I <laughs> I really kind of don't have any words almost, but I'm talking about it right now. Guys, there are jetpacks that's coming out on December 12th, uh, next Tuesday. And apparently they can fire weapons, you know, and everybody everybody knows that they're happy about the jetpack coming out because, you know, a lot of people with the Mount Chiliad mystery, everybody thought that you could just get a jetpack well no Rockstar actually put the jetpack in the game for y'all now so there is no more no more Mount Chiliad mystery anymore it's just straight jetpack it just just get you I don't know how much it's gonna cost you know it's gonna cost a lot but yeah alright so moving on from that the new tank that I saw in the trailer now this tank looks like something straight out of the cyber world like look at it it looks like it was made by freaking aliens. Like, y'all yeah, remember the uh the tank back in um Saints Row 4, that tank? Yeah, it looks exactly like that one. And it got the little purple stripe on the side of it, too. But that tank, guys, looks so overpowered. And, like, imagine it. Like, what if, like, what if the tank is actually indestructible? You know, it to me, it looks indestructible. It looks like it just can't be broken to me and like it looks like it's so overpowered that even a single bullet will destroy anything like in this trailer uh these guys talk about the apocalypse so maybe this tank is actually the is actually going to be like part of the it looks like it's the main problem of the apocalypse uh, moving on to the next picture with these uh, three underwater cars going towards a submarine um, we gonna find more uh, like about this car like <laughs> come on man G like I'm so so happy and I, actually I'm just happy that I can actually afford all of these things you know but there's a submarine underwater and there's three cars going towards it. Basically, GTA is trying to turn everyone to secret agents. You know? 
and people are gonna be mad saying like oh I can't afford this oh I'm gonna be so angry like you guys don't know that you could have one dollar in GTA Online you do one doomsday heist and you next thing you know you're gonna have 20 million dollars in your pocket you don't know how much these heists is gonna worth but I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna worth way more than a million dollars and probably it's probably gonna take more people to do too but I'm telling you with these new weapons and vehicles and the right amount like the right type of people to play with the people who aren't gonna be like you know dying all the time or just pl playing around I promise y'all get these heists done and y'all definitely see me doing a video on all of these heists with people now um moving on to the next picture this uh APC that's getting chased by two helicopters yeah I don't really know much about this APC but it looks uh <laughs> it looks pretty hardcore like you know, it's not, I don't really know much about it, because I can't really see a good angle about it, but, um, it looks pretty OP as hell, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna, it's gonna do some damage, I can tell you that, I know it is, I see the little, uh, missile, I mean, not the missile, the little, uh, gun on top, so maybe it's gonna be like the insurgent pickup, but, like, something way more different, it's gonna be, yeah, it's, it's gonna be different but it's also gonna be the same so that's something to look forward to and uh, moving on next oh yeah the, um yeah, I remember y'all seen in the last picture those cars that we seen going towards the submarine not only can those cars swim underwater but those cars can actually float on air now <laughs> this was probably what caught everybody's attention when Rockstar released this trailer. When I looked at the trailer and I seen these cars flying up into the air, I was like, whoa. Like this This is crazy. Like ah it's it's leaving everybody speechless. This is the update to all updates. You know, this will make everybody get back on GTA. They'll wanna grind even more. Because uh, Rockstar actually, like, I don't, I don't know if they know this, but Rockstar maybe could have realized that GTA was getting a little dull, and like it was becoming too much of a grind. So now people will definitely be grinding hard because they have something fun to do, like these gun running missions or these new planes that's coming. That's not really fun to us. We want to get these type of missions back, you know, like shit like this. This is fun as hell. But when I first looked at these cars, the first thing that came to my mind was the movie Back to the Future. Because, like, look at it. It looks exactly like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And it flies up in the air. Who knows? Maybe you could actually time travel in this car. Who really knows? But um, all I know is that this car, I, I like the little detail on the back of it when it uh, lights up. Yeah, that's raw as ever. But all I know is that this car can fly it has guns attached to it, it has missiles attached to it so basically everything is just becoming so overpowered in this game alright so um, on to the next picture is this picture of a black jet now uh, I'm not really sure what this jet can do but um, I do know that it probably has enhanced or advanced uh, missiles and bullets and the speed on it is probably crazy as hell. And it looks like it's a stealth jet. Like like you could just be stealthy with it, you know? But um Yeah, so it just it just looks so cool. And I think you could uh I think you could drop bombs from the bottom of it. So that's uh that's a good thing to know. So um Yeah, I, I don't I don't really know much about this jet. All I know is that it's a, a whole black jet, and it looks stealthy as fuck, you know. But it, it looks cool, though. Don't get me wrong. And, uh, yeah, on to the next picture. Okay, this is, I guess, the new police riot vehicle. Like, okay, so if you go look at the trailer and you see this police vehicle, you're just going to see it smash through a couple of cop cars. And it just... It straight smashes through them like no fucks given. Like it didn't even decrease its speed or nothing. It seemed like it was increasing its speed when it crashed into them. But yeah, it's just a long 
black truck and it looks it looks so OP like um, the truck itself is probably heavily armored it's it's probably indestructible meaning you can't maybe you can't blow this up who knows you know I mean it just looks like it it just looks like you can't blow it up I wonder where we're gonna be able to customize all these new vehicles and stuff now um to the next picture we have uh, a long APC now um uh, I know I don't got a picture of the missiles on top but there are missiles on top and it's just like the APC that you know the little small one so this is basically a bigger longer version of the APC I don't really know what it's called but it's a uh, it got homing missiles attached to it and I think you could uh I think you could activate them while you're driving by yourself like in the APC you can't really use the missiles and drive at the same time you usually have to uh be stationary but um with this one I think you could just drive and shoot missiles I don't really know yet because in the trailer he's not really driving he's uh stationary and he's just um moving like the uh no he's just uh using I meant to say using he's using the uh, rockets to take down the helicopters that come up next so um this you know I say this about a lot of the vehicles on here but this definitely looks indestructible like you just can't blow it up at all like that's what it just looks like to me but who knows you know they might actually you know what they might actually add the railgun into this game now that I think about it they might actually add it for purchase alright but um now to the next picture is we got this dope ass helicopter I don't I don't know if it's a plane or if it's a helicopter but I think that it is one of those futuristic helicopters and it, it's, it's stealth you know now but uh, I think that I think that this is a helicopter because uh like just just look at it though like you ever see one of those futuristic movies and you see like helicopters that look like these yeah like all I know about this helicopter is that it definitely shoots missiles it definitely has bullets attached to it and it probably got a few other I said other other features that you can do with it and um man this is just this is just a lot you know and you, you probably could open bomb bay doors. There's probably you could probably stand inside of there with your friends or something, while the other person is uh, piloting. You know we got we got a lot coming on the 12, y'all. We got a lot. And um, from the look of it, it looks like it could go. It could be in hover mode, or it can go in like jet mode, like where it goes super fast going forward. But uh, onto this next picture, we have a person like it looks like they're in a fucking Tron base right now. Like, so what we're looking at is a person with some headgear on. It looks like he has on, or I think that's a female character. It looks like she has on a night vision. So and she's holding what I believe to be a revolver. Which at first glance it looks like a shotgun. She's holding it one hand, but it looks like a revolver. So maybe these this place right here that they're in it looks like uh one of the places that you're probably gonna be in while you're doing the heist. So um yeah, I guess once you're in, this is the place you're gonna come to and the revolver that I see, that is probably one of many weapons that's coming out in this new update. And the outfits that they have on, once again, is one of many outfits that are coming out in the next update. I do not I'm not sure what new clothes they're gonna have for us, but I, I guarantee you it's gonna be some futuristic, you know. Now uh uh on to the next picture. Uh um. Oh no! Wait, that's the end. Wait, actually no. All right, so uh, here we go. This is the very last picture, and uh, it's this guy right here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really sure what his name is, but I guess we're in some sort of like secret base or something. And like uh, see the the game has changed. 
for GTA Online because in the trailer they talk a lot about trying to uh, save the city from the apocalypse or from uh, friggin doomsday you know so basically in this new update what they're trying to t what Rockstar is trying to tell us that these new update and uh, this new car these new cars these new weapons these new gear this is basically gonna be fucking destruction of Los Santos like everything is going to get destroyed with all of these new weapons and gear you know so uh, I guess in these heist that you um, you're trying to stop them from destroying the entire city and it's weird because let's think about it Rockstar four years ago had us rob every single convenience store had us rob everybody had us kill pedestrians for no reason had us like he had freaking had us um rob banks and stuff but now they want us to save the city like that's that's crazy you know but um yeah so with this guy i guess he's going to try and help us through with lester and a couple of other people uh lester's gonna be in there too trying to save the world but um you know hopefully you know what i wish they would have added and i wish they would have added in the chance to meet michael or franklin you know that would get gta players freaking i don't even know they blow their mind but um yeah so basically what you're trying to do is i guess maybe there's three heists i think i'm guessing there's going to be three heists three different heists and you got to try and save the city from koreans chinese or the russians now um you know how Rockstar is. I hope that they, like, you know, give us a couple of chances to see some cameos or something. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know what cameos to see, but I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm just talking out the side of my neck. But, um, yeah, so, that's all I really want to talk about. I, I just needed to talk about this because, like, I'm so... So, so, so excited for this new update to come out on Tuesday. And I swear to God, when it does, GTA will probably be the only thing that I play for a long, long while. And by long, long while, I mean a couple of weeks. You know, that's really it. But, um, geez, this video is way longer than it needs to be. Almost at, well, we're at 18 minutes now. But, as always, make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh... Make sure if you make sure if you uh, got a PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, make sure I don't even know why I said that. <sighs> See, I'm lost for words because I don't know what to say. Just make sure you get on GTA on December 12th and get all that stuff. And if you don't have enough money, then you better grind for it because I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it. And uh, that's all I really got to say for today. So I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Bye. And love y'all.